charity of the week. Please tell us your name and charity. It's Angie Eyre and we are Breast Cancer Now volunteering in the Isle of Man. How did the charity start and what is its purpose? So we started in 1992 where a group of women who were going through their own breast cancer experience um, saw that there was a new research centre opening in the UK in London and it was all about research in breast cancer. And so they decided to set up an Isle of Man group and raise funds to support this. Tell us about your team. So there's a team of 15 ladies and uh, we've all got our own different talents. We all work superbly together. We are all volunteers, of course, here in the Isle of Man. And um, we come together every two months to plan and organise our next events. And we have lots of fun, like we've just had the Snaefell Sleepover, which raised £40,000, which we were just delighted with. Who is the charity for? So the charity is all about raising funds for breast cancer research. So it's really anyone who's affected by breast cancer. It's about finding new treatments, but more effective treatments and less invasive treatments. So people can go about living with their cancer diagnosis. You know, once upon a time, sort of 30, 40 years ago, people were hit with chemotherapy and were literally laid down for the whole time. Now, thankfully, because we have these better treatments and they're less invasive, more people can continue living with their breast cancer diagnosis. Which other organisations do you work with? So we work with our UK associated Breast Cancer Now group. Uh, They are absolutely massive. They've got over 400 scientists in the laboratories currently working on breast cancer. Uh, We also have a generation study that's happening just now. And there's 117,000 people in that generation study. And they're following these people over a 40 year time span and looking at why some people will get breast cancer and some won't get breast cancer. So it's a long drawn out um, study and you know we won't have the effects of it just yet but it's all about genetics and until we understand why people are being diagnosed with breast cancer we'll never be able to stop it. What are your main goals? So our ultimate goal just now is by 2050 anyone diagnosed with breast cancer will survive and will live well. How do you see the charity developing over the next five years? So over the next five years, we are continuing our research into understanding different types of breast cancer. Um, Perhaps lots of people don't realise there's over 20 different types of breast cancer and each one now can be treated separately and differently to um, once upon a time it was one standard treatment fits all whereas now there's so many different treatments out there for each different type of breast cancer and we have invasive aggressive breast cancers secondary breast cancer um, triple negative breast cancer the charity is really looking into secondary breast cancer currently and also male breast cancer because of course men can get breast cancer too How is the charity funded? So we are all funded by donations. Um, Here on the Isle of Man, it's the very generous Isle of Man residents and public, um, companies and businesses that give support with sponsorship. And then all those funds do go off the island and they go to research. Without research, we will never stop breast cancer. How can people support you? So we have a website, which is breastcancernow.im. We have a Facebook page and an Instagram page. They can make donations to our charity or they could come and volunteer with us. We're always looking for an extra pair of hands, which would be fantastic. Anybody who's got some fundraising ideas, please get in touch with us. Where can people find out more? The website breastcancernow.im. If you are looking for some more in-depth support and you are going through breast cancer treatment currently you can go to breastcancernow.org that's our UK charity and they have a service where someone like me so someone who's going through breast cancer like yourself they will call you and have a discussion with you and they are all breast cancer survivors the charity of the week profile complete